Let's talk about Big Stick Diplomacy, the Panama Canal, and the Roosevelt Corollary in a MrClaff.com minute. Theodore Roosevelt said to speak softly and carry a big stick. That meant to go about your business, but when there was a valuable opportunity or if something looked troublesome, the U.S. would exercise its military might. Most famously, the stick was waved in Latin America and the Caribbean Sea. Let's talk about the Panama Canal. The U.S. wanted to build a canal which connected the Atlantic to Pacific Oceans. Construction began in 1904. Here's how the U.S. obtained the land. Panama was controlled by Colombia, but Colombia did not want to honor the hay Haran Treaty that would have allowed the U.S. to build the canal there. Secretary of State John Hay told Panama if they wanted independence from Colombia, then America would back it. Sure enough, after the successful Panamanian Revolution, the first order of business was to approve the hay Buenavaria Treaty, and that treaty granted the U.S. the Canal Zone. The building project was an immense one, with many dying from yellow fever during the early years of construction. However, with the help of Dr. William Gorgas, the disease was later minimized. The U.S. controlled the canal until 1977. Teddy Roosevelt also clarified the 1823 Monroe Doctrine. The Monroe Doctrine was supposed to keep European nations from recolonizing Latin America. However, when European nations reappeared in the Dominican Republic to collect debt, it angered the U.S. So this corollary said that the United States would be the police power of the Western Hemisphere. Rather than having the Europeans in the Atlantic, the U.S. would collect debts on their behalf. For more review, you can get free flashcards and review sheets at mrclap.com. We also invite you to check out Noble Review in both paperback and ebook formats. Best of luck on your tests.